Now to some new details about a string of overdose, death, overdose deaths in downtown L.A. Police believe the powerful drug fentanyl may be to blame. And in fact, in the past week, we've seen five deaths in that area likely connected to fentanyl. As NBC 4's Ted Chen shows, as authorities are concerned by this dangerous trend. The men found dead in these downtown L.A. apartments have been identified as 52-year-old John Black and 32-year-old Luis Garcia. Police say they were maintenance workers found unconscious in an apartment after possible exposure to fentanyl. They also saw some white substance, which later on in their investigation, they revealed that it was fentanyl. Last week, three men were found dead of an apparent fentanyl overdose only a few blocks away. The CDC says there were more than 107,000 drug overdose deaths last year, a 15% increase and 64% were fentanyl related. They use fentanyl to put down an elephant. Dr. Morris Jack Dodowitz is an anesthesiologist and addiction specialist at Dignity Health Northridge Hospital. Fentanyl is an extremely strong synthetic narcotic um, and it stops you from breathing. The LAPD's gang and narcotics division says there have been increasing seizures of counterfeit pills laced with fentanyl smuggled across the southern border. Uh, it's not uncommon for an arrest to involve 25, 50, 100,000 pills. Counterfeit pills is probably one of the most dangerous because of that aspect of a user that doesn't know what they're taking. Jamie Puerta says his 16-year-old son Daniel died of fentanyl poisoning from a pill he bought online that he thought was Oxycontin. This can happen to any family. You do not need a child or a family member to be either addicted to drugs uh, to fall prey to fentanyl. Police are looking into who brought the fentanyl into the apartment downtown where two men died. In downtown Los Angeles, Ted Chen, NBC4 News.